So we're here at the headwaters of the Madre Dios River where we're about to start a six week uh, study uh, collecting data on heavy metal contamination in the watershed, in the Madre Dios watershed, as well as examine some of the aspects of human health and the entomological data collections and the, the diversity of species that exist in the communities along the watershed. So while we've been working for a few years already in the Madre de Dios region on human drivers of environmental change, this is the first opportunity we've had to bring students down to work with us. In Lima, we uh, did some training with uh, NAMRU 6, which was really interesting. We got to experience um, what you would do during an outbreak study as far as the protective equipment that you have to use. We learned how to trap vectors like mice and rats. Then we went to Cusco where we got to meet with some people from some cohort studies in Cusco. Got to experience the, the beauty of Cusco as far as the ruins that are there. And then we actually uh, drove from Cusco down into the jungle. And seeing that change from the, the mountains down to the jungle was incredible. And experiencing the differences in the communities and, and how all these people are really amazing is and cool. Being able to experience the jungle and um, especially one of the biological stations that we were able to visit for a couple of days and see the great biodiversity that's in Peru. I was really excited to be in Peru and traveling down a river for the summer and hoping to see some really awesome things and be a part of a research project. During this time the, the students have been able to interact with the communities and they have been sharing their experiences. It, it has been a bi-directional learning experience for from the student side and the community side. The transfer of knowledge has been good. My Spanish isn't the strongest, but this opportunity has been given me a chance to both practice my Spanish to engage with other communities. <laughs> this morning was our very first uh, charla. Um, we were able to get a large donation of toothbrushes and toothpaste and so in every community that we'll be stopping at and doing our research we're also going to be doing um, little activities uh, teaching about dental hygiene to the kids. So we did our first one today and it was a lot of fun. The kids were so enthusiastic. The information we're finding really concerns the communities that live here and so as long as you know, the information gets back to them, then that's a really positive relationship and shows collaboration. And it's been great to see how different people interact with communities and by learning from the perspectives of others. We were learning about different cohort studies and then being able to go out and see the people who were participating in the studies, meet the field workers. Um, it was just so interactive and um, and I think for me that was really cool, seeing um, just research come to life. This is a great place to apply research to the real world and to developing countries and global health. This project has been a great way to get out of the lab, into the field, and experience research in a unique location. This has been a great experience for the students and I hope in the future we have more students join us in this new adventure. You can't get this from a book. You can't get this from a classroom. You can only get it from being on the ground. If you are curious about research at all or think that it might be something for you, this is a great program to like, actually get hands-on experience and see the whole process. Uh, we hope that this project and our research can help our Peruvian partners identify some important positive changes for the environment as well as human health. And I think that the team that's going to be pulling all this together is going to be really important to informing a lot of those policies.